Ah, uh, another day in my favorite place, the Meteor Cave. We've been living here at the center of the apocalypse, and Tynan's just been declared a royal acolyte. We've also got the hostility of a toxic spewer, which is edging closer every day. Fortunately, right now it's out of range, but it'll give us a chance to break out of our shell. We do have a way out that we've mined all the way through the meteors. And I just noticed now that Table, our benefactor, dropped thousands of gold. Pretty much all of the gold that we left him, he just dropped here. And he killed all of the bugs for us. Wowzers, I hope that we can still get ranks. But I'm content to go about our daily activities. Much as we did before, living in the lap of luxury, due to all of the expensive metal that surrounds us. Today, our people will actually get bedrooms. I think if we're going for a few colonists and making it all royal, they may as well be happy. So I'm mining out all of the available marble. Practically all stones are available to us since they all rained out of the sky. We've got a mad timber wolf, but he's outrageously far away. That's okay. We now have enough to make walls of marble and then mine out some more. Do it on the double. Hmm, a new quest available. Not interested. She doesn't like the Shattered Empire, and they're actually quite important to me. They're the only reason I have any legitimacy on my land claims. Now the speed with which Tynan mines is certainly fine, but I bet we could do more if we had a door. He's meditating, channeling his power. Wow, that is, that's actually quite cool. He can call royal aid in a variety of ways. Let's mine out the other walls. And I'll be damned, we got all of that uh, royalty practically for free. He just dropped all of the gold. I like this guy. And Thunder and Sienna are lovers. Thunder tried to romance Sienna by telling a tale about dualism. Sienna became aroused and agreed to become Thunder's lover. Thunder and Sienna now want to sleep together, consider assigning them a devil bed. So this is great, I don't even need to build a third bedroom. Two will do. But Tynan gets one first. Right here. Now with food squared away and the garden planted, we should at least do our best to keep our people happy. I don't want them to be sad. And it seems the toxic spewer won't make our lives outrageously bad. I thought it would spew toxic on us, but we have not yet encountered it. It's not moved any closer. Nor is the toxic, but maybe it'll start spreading out. Nonetheless, I am happy. We're almost perfectly set. Let's build out the power and let's start on the jade bed and hope it gets done. I'm hoping for excellent, but we got excellent. Wow, I should just keep saying what I'm hoping for. Still awful quality, but the bed looks pretty nice. Not as good as I thought, but whatever. A harvest of ambrosia. This will keep even the keel. We'll let them just have some right around here. Off to bed, Fred. Next, I want fine marble tiles everywhere. It must be the best. And I've had it with stone chunks. They need the right place. I'll put them out here and move my workshop there. It's really a challenge, but a fine bedroom he deserves. The finest and most lavish. We'll build everything this way. Workshops here too, till the center's a throne room, and that will make do. Now we'll redo the throne room with marble everywhere. An animal fight, who will win? No surprise. Now it's time to hide the work areas all throughout the walls and make some fine workshops and a new kitchen. There's a lot to be done. Wall it in with marble, put this over here, and we're starting to get hungry. I'm going to do something terrible. I'll cast a side cast on this lynx and also a blinding pulse. Not royal aid, but shoot it in the face. Wow, I can use my psychic powers on animals. I did, after all, say that this was the wild thornberries, as most of my playthroughs devolve into at some point. We're eating lynx for dinner tonight. Lynx and rat. I'm sure they're delicious. And three cables have been- Oh, that's outside. Everything is outside. I'm going to ignore roofs again. That was an issue. Save our home. Oh shit, our stove exploded. Why did I think putting a stove in a rainstorm was a good idea? Ah oh, well, let's get that done. Maybe insisting on everything being made out of silver was a bit much. Nah. Nah, we'll live. And the rice is almost grown. I'm still insisting that everything be made of marble. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, who can can tell. But Tynan is healed and productive as usual. Time to build an actual kitchen. And we are done. That should do it. And make this an airlock. That'll keep everything chilled. Our fridge is complete. And now it's filled up with meat. And now a new quest available. There's so many options. Arakuski Lisbus, a knight of the Shattered Empire, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. He imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now he wants you to keep the prisoner Riesling Bacchus caged until the scandal blows over in 14 days. 
Unfortunately, Lisbeth's court rivals have provoked mechanoid attacks from Xenarth Mechive. To try to break the lover out and bring the story to light, there will be two raids of roughly the size of four scythers. I would, but I can't. So no. Goodbye. But now we've a throne room. We just need braziers. The room area is at least 24 tiles, and I think the rest is met. So let's have braziers. Just put them around, put them around. How about right there? Ah, uh, finally, wood. It's ready to harvest. Many of these trees have grown to the largest. Uh, these trees are quite big. It's, it's good because fire can't spread on this map, though. So what trees we do have seem to stay there. Let's haul in the rest and finish the flooring. Fine marble tile. A new quest available. Oh, but we can't do it. We need to be a count. I'm motivated by this. All in good time, all in good time. He looks kind of badass there. Man, I really like this mod. It's it's growing on me. The bedroom will improve. Now we need a top hat. I can't even make one? I'm going to need to resort to buying things. But that's all just fine. We have what we need. Now we need to limit his diet. He can have only a few things. Lavish meals, fine meals, insect jelly, packaged survival meals, simple meal, or pemmican. But pim simple meal is fine. He just won't eat raw food. No raw food anymore. Now a new quest available. Still lancers and pikemen's I can't- I can't muster a defense here. I need to reject them. At least I get choice though. And it's not all at random. Now we've got all we need to make another cooler. But suddenly there's a tornado. As if that wasn't enough, this adds insult to injury. And it degrades all the stone. What a waste. At least it missed us. That could have been detrimental. It's very persistent as well. The tornado has dissipated. Now our two bedrooms are getting very impressive. All we need is a better Taylor. I regret at this moment killing Taylor. She was such a good jogger. May she rest in peace. Uh, Ah, the rooms are complete. No one could be happier than me. Marriage is on. Thunder proposed marriage to Sienna. Sienna agreed and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days are quadrums. They will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. All the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. In the kitchen. Nah, nah. That, that would be pretty funny though. But right there. Doesn't detract from beauty, right? Nah. Like some foul act has happened there. And what comes on next? A rare thrombos wanders in. Well, more than one, but they're gonna come to my house. Really strange how they just come right to you. In my opinion. We could- we could pretty easily wall these things in. You'd need like a triple wide wall though. Ah, uh, we already have enough elements. I'm not complaining. And research is back on. I need solar panels. It's it's getting hard to power this whole place up. There's enough electronic devices. We need more. Uh, it's just- that's just the truth. Let's get everything out of the goddamn hallway. That's really been bothering me. I'm kind of OCD. Ah, that's much better. Everything is fixed. Well, not everything. You can't ever fix everything. Except your pets. Except your pets. Well, Tynan is just so happy. He's in a gorgeous environment. Moderate expectations. Luxuriantly comfortable. Recreation fully satisfied. These are fully player-made expectations we've fixed up. Usually it's like really low expectations, catharsis, just more bullshit, stuff of that nature. And these two couldn't be happier either, so. No psychotic breaks is good news. And at long last, we now have the rice that we need. We just need sustained power for Christ's sake. The lights are all flickering. It's- this is very bad. Oh, go while there's time. Nice. Uh, the Ah, uh, so satisfying to get your meal workflow down. I really do mean it. It takes forever to learn how this works. But it does save you a lot of time. And my- I'm not saying the mine's perfect, it's just- It's just downright satisfying. Let's hold open these doors, I don't know why this didn't occur. I'd probably save a lot of time. I know, everything's away. Our house is in a mess. And now we have muscle parasites. Is this good? Nope, this one is completely bad. There's nothing good about this whatsoever. Not like, I think it's sensory mechanites, which actually makes you faster. Though it makes you in pain all the time. Oh well! Let's see if that goes away ever. And it's now time to hunt. We need to make someone else a cook. It's kind of a waste of Tynan's time, really. He's a... He's far better at other things. We'll go on the hunt! Ooh, horses! Unfortunately, I can't- ooh. Well, good luck getting out of that. I forgot that the horses get aggressive. Oh wait, let's just have you use your psychic powers, which I forgot that you have. They are much better. Okay, let's run away now. And then shoot the horse. 
There we go, much better. Again, do it again. Oh shit. As long as he doesn't get bit or anything. Come on, run away again. And... Ooh, shit. Okay, he's fine. Nothing in worry of, uh, in fear of infection. He does have neural heat, though. That's quite badass. With great power comes great responsibility. With dead horses comes dead horse meat. It's almost like his psychic storm seems to be causing the lights to flicker. There's something about this game, I don't know. It never runs out. And we'll also need to actually separate these. It's been a while since I last built one. I just haven't done much butchering. We got it fibrous mechanites as well. You have two types of mechanites. You are gonna be in so much pain. Wow, you will need the ambrosia. I hope we, nope, we don't have any. Oh no, we do. Good luck, you'll need drugs. And another quest is available, the climate adjuster and Sherry. Sherry? A 49 year old brave, just a brave, okay, named Jody. Cherie, King, is calling from nearby. She is hiding from her enemies. She wants to flee her hiding spot and join you at Vietnam. <laughs> you know, I picked that because it was Vietnam, but I saw a bunch of people thought I actually misspelled Vietnam. I'm just, I'm full of puns. I don't know how it's a pun, but F, F you, F you. If you accept her, her enemies will set up a site nearby to harass you. There's a climate adjuster and three men hunting chickens wandering nearby. The threat will remain until you go to destroy it. And that we're being chased by the merchant gang. Perhaps Seth Dean Tatch or... Well, I wish I knew her. But, I mean, I wouldn't have taken Sienna since I might be hit by toxic fallout at some point. But still, you know, they're gonna keep sending me colonists, so... I'll take some harassment and Cherie. Yeah. Okay, I hope you're good. And she's incapable of social, that's fine. She's actually a very good combatant. Good with plants, animals, and crafting. Okay, I don't regret taking you. A reclusive child and brave. And what is she wearing? A patched leather button-down shirt. Okay, a climate adjuster has appeared nearby. Well, that is threatening and it's close. Uh, that will actually affect us. But you know, I wanted to go on a quest and I needed more colonists. Cherie can pull her own weight. I just hope she doesn't get us all killed. At least she's good at things that I wanted. I just wish she could cook. But it's the 1st of September and we'll need some more food now. But temperature control has not been an issue for us since the beginning. We have solar panels! Praise Thor! Microelectronics next. Now we will build these out here, they shouldn't obstruct the, you know, the thing. Though now that I think of it, I could build it up here and put them between other windmills. Wow, that's just the darndest thing. Work. Work. Good. Okay, now we have infinite power, and I, I think we're, we're pretty much stable as a civilization. Thank God. I'd gone too long like that. We can clear out some more. Now we'll need to start to arm up. We have a climate adjuster nearby. I haven't had this yet. It sounds terrible, and I am in fact scared. But now we have a permanent researcher and Cherie does the rest. I actually quite like her. She's gonna need a bed. A limestone bed in the research room. That suits her just fine for now. Now our butcher room's fixed down here at the bottom. The meals are made, the pawns are in bed, and I haven't really seen any sign of this climate changer. Though ominous in name, and I'm sure Sure Al Gore wouldn't like it. We can start to arm up and make us some weapons. And we have more muscle pa Jesus. That's a lot of muscle parasites. Everyone has them. This will slow us down, but we're- Eh, we're okay. We're definitely okay. Now it's getting to be december -y, and it's getting very cold. I'll add in a heater so no one dies. I think the main hall is probably the safest place to put it. And we'll put vents between all the rooms. Or eh, you know, let's just do it with open doors. That's fine. We can change it if we need it. And everyone gets clothes. We desperately need clothes. Cowboy hats is- w I- I know I don't like- I've renounced making everyone cowboys, but they're just really overpowered. Individuality again. Individuality. Okay, a nearby climate adjuster is shifting the temperature. It seems as if it's actually making it warmer, so I'm not going to change this. So, this climate adjuster turns out to be an advantage right now. <laughs> It's staving off winter. A new quest available, Pod Swarm. While I like this offer, Marcia Castamos, she's Greek, I guess. That, that sounds vaguely Greek. An acolyte of the Shattered Empire is having trouble landing near Vietnam, eh? Due to repeated infestations. She wants to draw the bugs to you to be dealt with. This will provoke an infestation of three hives. A Janissary will be placed under your control. You'll have to feed and house him, but he may die in battle without consequence. Mm. If I had Molotovs, I would. Let's just arm up. I can't accept these quests now, which sucks, because they look like fun. But we desperately need weapons. 
so. Crafting spot, here I come. And it still isn't gonna do us much good, but it does kind of remind me that I need smoke leaf. It must be the best. Actually, I, I'm in permanent summer. They can't possibly make my life bad. The worst they could do is give us regular winter. Or a heat wave, but we could survive that. Here is my wealth. Jesus Christ. I can't believe we've already made it 45 days. Now with the preparations complete, it's time that we expand upward and mine out more expensive marble. Marble and plasteel. Everything that is blue. A new quest has become active. Metanix collection of goodies. It will expire in 25 days. Metanix, High Stellarch of the Shattered Empire, has informed us of a collection of valuable items where five and two man-hunting lynx are wandering nearby and there may be an unknown threat. Show me the money. Well, we would have to pass through the toxic fallout zone. Again, I'm not, uh, I'm not incentivized. No, I'll wait and mine at home. Call me a slob, but I say I'm intelligent. An intelligent slob, but I'm okay with that. I'm also going to go a step further with our fridge and create a deep freezer further within. And we've had a transport pod crash. Paula, a logger is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. Ooh. Paula is not affiliated with any faction. We can rescue her and blah, blah, blah. And she is here. She is, she's going to die in nine hours. There's no way in hell we're getting to her. Well, I, uh, I'm okay with her. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't save this woman. Is there any way to get to her? Yeah, there is no way we can mine that much in this time. But I'll hate myself if I don't try, so go in. Nah, she's dead. All right, F you, F you. Yeah, there is no way. Oh shit, she's tended her own wounds. 10 hours to death. What the fuck? Can we give her a sleeping spot? Oh, she's out of the range of sleeping spots. Maybe she can find that one. I have no, I just have no clue. I have never seen them tend their own shit. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's actually try to mine over to her. If she saves herself, she's a god. I've never seen a RimWorld colonist demonstrate independence. This would be the first. And she's, yeah, she's gonna die. Damn shame that she could get that far. Nonetheless, maybe we will mine out a path out here. I wouldn't want to miss out on that event again. Classic though, dying to a scratch on her right arm. Tragedy. Darwinism, she did. She did. Now it seems that the climate adjusted has actually shifted the temperature down now. We're coming into winter and it could kill the rice crop. As soon as we complete the next research, I'm going on a quest. Not a world quest, but my own personal one. There are three chickens defending it. And suddenly there are a herd of mad muffalos. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. The muffalos are driven. They're coming closer. They're coming to the door. All of them. All of the muffalos. Um, um, I just wasn't prepared for this. Some steel spike trips we'll have to do. We'll build them inside and pray that they hit them because it seems otherwise that they're stuck and don't hit the door. We'll just have five of them running around. One is bleeding to death. He will die in seven hours. Well, that's normal, like a symphony of dissatisfaction. I know that sound. Now, most people would not look to me for refrigeration advice, but adding in another cooler here in an area we never access, in an area we never access, will make this sort of a deep freeze area. And this our main refrigerator. This is a good idea and will save me an ass load of time. A new quest available. Bloodshed for profit. Heraklos Metanic. High Stellarch of the Shattered Empire wants to help save one of his caravans. The caravan is being hunted via near Vietnam by two groups of pirates from the merchant. <laughs> I can't hold it together. Metanic wants you to signal the pirates to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. They have a grenadier, three gunners, and five scavenger gunners. The second similar size group will follow soon after. They'll arrive in 1.7 days, and the two cataphracts can die and cancel. Uh, they could do it without any consequence. We could either have this guy join. He has terrible traits. No. I'm just gonna continue to rely on gold teeth to make them happy with me. So instead, we'll accept it for just goodwill. I honestly want the pirates to come, though. I want their weapons instead. And they are arriving from the moon, okay? These gentlemen look insanely powerful. I just hope that they don't siege us. And they are cleaning. Holy shit, who are they? They have bio-coated cataphract armor. This is cool. I was just going to rely on spike traps to defend myself, which on second thought wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea at all. We need to manufacture armor instead and trade for stuff, but we can just put these cataphracts to work. 
I guess. And we'll need to dispatch the muffalo before they arrive. Now oh, they actually do some mining while they're here. These people could be used for their labor. All people could be used for their labor. We'll need to make the cataphracts some beds, even though that they messed up construction. <laughs> and they could even mine out the sides. Well, it seems the muffalo are no longer mad. Let's reopen the doors and clean up the blood. And we're being raided now. Draft all my people. Call royal aid. Call royal aid. Trooper squad, okay, trooper squad right here. Defend me in my bedroom. The rest of you run away into this room. Tynan stay there. Patronus come closer. Back out here. Nurcello, this one's on you. Okay, Tynan has aid now. Holy shit, that's a lot of mercenaries. And I'm going to stun all of them. Tynan run out. My people stay safe in here. Get some shooting experience. Tynan can stun. Patronus go closer. Tynan stun again. Tynan can go out here and his neural heat is going up. Fuck. Uh, I do actually want their grenades. Well, let's try a blinding pulse, see if that does anything. I wonder what this looks like, and that was kinda cool. And they're fleeing! Okay, let's see if we can take him prisoner. Uh, yep, we are good. Patronus is on a major break risk. Okay, go back to your life. Go back to your life. Nurcello wasn't downed. Well, that actually turned out pretty well, and now we have guns. That's half the reason why I wanted these pirates to raid. And we got to allow Royal Aid, and we got frag grenades as well. Let's strip the ones who are left, and the last one remaining would die in nine hours. He's very artistic, but I don't like his other stuff. Okay, this guy is pretty useless. I just don't really need an artist in this colony. I need combatants. All right, very worth it, very worth it. And we get the pirates down. These guys will heal our house is a mess, but uh, that can be redone. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Just need to remake this wall, remake our silver, remake the doors, remake the marble. That's the extent of the damages though. All right, thank you allies. I appreciate that. Too bad these guys can't stay with you but I got them for free. Oh, and another siege by the pirate gang. Uh, the merchant's guild, here they come. This is what I was expecting, a siege. Yeah, all right, let's see where they set up. One right after the other. Okay, we gotta get these guys out of bed. Yeah, we all gotta be part of this. Everybody get in, you're all drafted. I hope that the uh, royal aid comes to join us. Everybody gets a weapon, you get frag grenades, get a machine pistol, whatever it takes. Okay. Go, 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 people. Go. That's all my people. Let's go out. Let's fend off the siege. We got how many siegers is that? One, two, three. Well, our neural heat is worn off and we're better for battle. Let's just gather everyone up so that they don't get too ahead of themselves. Oh, great idea. Trying to siege me from underneath a mountain. And it looks like these, uh, royal aid will actually fend off. They will probably stop this threat before we even have to do anything. Let's just let them do it. Let them fight. And let's see how they do with this threat. They're, uh, they've all got submachine guns. Patronus, you know what? You fight your own war. I'm okay with that. Plus, I just want to see how you do with this. Nurcello, yeah, you know what? You too. You got me into this. You're gonna get me out of it. I'm gonna send my colonists back to go rebuild and eat. Okay, this is kind of badass now. Royal Aid has pretty much saved us from all of the fighting. Oh, shit. They've been shot to death. What is that? What is that green goo? Shit. Oh, wow. These guys have snipers, and they are- the Imperials from the Shattered Empire are fleeing. Oh, our- our called-in allies are now fleeing. Okay, you know what? You get out of there. Let's see if we can save your life. And... yes? Maybe? At least you could take out one or two of them. Get out of better range. I want this to be a one-sided fight. We could use that other guy as a distraction as well. Ragabe, you'll do. They just have such an advantage here. Let's send out Sienna. She's got the grenades. You're my, you're my only hope right here. Come on, Nurcello. I didn't hire you for nothing. Good, he got one. This guy is really, really strong. And he has a go-juice addiction. Jeez. He gets a bruise from a sniper rifle. Okay, just go in there with the grenades. Go in while they're distracted by him. And you're not in range. And I think these things can go about four tiles before they go really awry. We just don't want them to clip onto any walls. So go, 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 go. Try it out, try it out. Yes, that was a perfect hit. And nice. I knew it would be great to take pirate raiders. Look at all the sniper rifles we just got. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now let's see if we can grab the last ones with snipers. We got a few left. And Sienna's really fast. Yeah, go for it, go for it. You go, girl. Fuck, okay, uh, we- no. Come on, get Highland, we, uh, but we could get that one- nah. One last shot, one last shot at this. Eh, okay, we lost it. 
All right, everybody go back. This is actually a fantastic path. I'm really glad that this ended as it did. All right, well, we got free supplies for all that. And Nurcello is leaving us. I guess that means we did our mission and nobody got hurt. We just gotta let this guy die. I don't want him. Everybody hauls a sniper rifle. Oh shit, see, okay, eat that meal, then go strip that guy. We need his flak jacket. And then that guy. Good. I got everything. And how are these two? Ah, uh, they're gonna die too soon. Let's see, don't want you, don't want you. Yeah, screw them. Didn't need him. You know, come to think of it, since Tynan was a psychopath, we totally could have grabbed that top hat, but... As like a whole set of clothing anyway, so... But yeah, that could totally have happened. And actually, now that I have bloodlust and all these human corpses... Well, you know how this ends. Soon we'll play, soon we'll play a morally sound RimWorld playthrough. Just, uh... Not right now. Not right now. Look at all the people. There's gonna be a lot of haul- Oh my god, look at all the clothes in the butchering room. Jesus Christ. And even the tainted clothes Tynan can use. Because I made him a psychopath. Oh, fuck. I forgot that I made Thunder do this. Well, if he's all- Oh, he- that does stack more than three times. Well, fortunately, the opinion of his fiance has made it better. And he's getting better at cooking, so it's- Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. He, he doesn't have to do this. He doesn't have to do this. Okay, much better, much better. <laughs> hey, we got the leather. That's what we needed. Now there will be many trips. Many, many trips. But we have a whole new set of tainted clothing. And a whole new food supply. And we got Sienna on a daze. Brawler has range- Oh, we could- Well, that's not a big deal. And all of our friendlies died. But that's just fine. We're getting really good at cooking, you know? Thunder's hiding in his room. We're getting muscle parasites- Ah. Two muscle parasites, that's a lot. But nothing's hurt Tynan. He can go on by himself. Oh, she gets a negative 20 debuff for holding grenades? That's perhaps more than it should be, but okay. She's no longer holding grenades. They're all going to go crazy because of what's happening in this room, though. But not our protagonist. He has other things in mind. There's blood everywhere. Okay, fix it, fix it. One trick to get a colonist to totally clean a room is to just, you know, forbid all the doors and put them in there so that they have nothing else that they can do. Okay, you're allowed out again. They're still hauling in. Oh, man, things are going bad. Really bad. What are we doing with those? Uh, where do those go by default again? Oh, no, you don't want that, do you? Oh, he's gonna do it? It's rotting? All right, well, let's find out what happens with it. No, it just goes there. We need a crematorium. For that, we need granite. Well, all of the bodies have rotted. I'd say that's about as well as we could have done in this conflict. Uh, there's a couple other things we could do, but most of the tainted clothing has been grabbed. The stuff I really wanted. So I'd honestly say we made out from that pretty well. I mean, we have better will with the royal faction. We have a decent base going now. We still have tons of metal. We all have sniper rifles and everything that we got from the pirates. And our people just went crazy. They didn't really take any, uh, any physical hits. <laughs> we'll have to organize this clothing, but hey, I hope we get some psychopaths. Anyway, I think that this wealth graph has done a pretty good picture of describing our colony. We started off at zero dollars. We're now worth a hundred and five thousand dollars with two voluntary raids. That's crazy. I'm on blood and dust. I'm not on losing is fun, but I'm also on TTK with some extra events. So extra stuff has happened. I wish that there were a difficulty between blood and dust and losing is fun because losing is fun really does kill you. But maybe maybe next time enough good has happened. I like the good. I like the good for a change. So much bad has happened in the past. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, my depression and my raging diarrhea are gone. As always, my name is Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.